Very good finds. Now you couldn't show me up on nice that one. Find. I had to get evidence. Very one nice. day I'm gonna get a picture of you doing Tom Brokaw. No, I, I don't do Tom Brokaw, but I, I did do that album. That's an old album. <laughs> That's an old album. And you can pick those up in your, I guess, 7-Eleven at this point. You know? <laughs> it didn't do too well. What, what do you think of uh, Saturday Night Live now? Well, I don't watch it that much, only because I have three daughters. They go to bed. I put them to bed. We, we're tired. And, mm -hmm. and run, <laughs> we're, we're tired and run down. <laughs> um, when I do watch it, I like it. I mean, I, I think these are all top actors, particularly like Phil Hartman. I mean, I think he's the, he's the most underrated of the players and, and the not ready for primetime players. He does a lot of stuff. There's a lot of good stuff. And uh, Dana and John Lovitz never mm -hmm. fails to make me laugh. Always funny. And I know these people personally, and they are funny, creative kids, you know? Mm -hmm. So I, I like it. It's just that the times have changed and the... What's the differences in the reference in this group? Are in, okay. Oh well, I mean to answer your question, the difference is that we don't—they don't have a, a brick with hair on his back named John Belushi yeah. uh, to, uh, <laughs> uh, to run the show. Um, yeah. You know that was such a, an incredible heady time and a great time. And John was—I uh, miss him more now than I did when he first died. I mean, it's to, to have those memories of, of how great John and Danny were together and Billy when he came in. Um, I know it's. It's a very subjective thing, but I, I still feel that the, the great shows were back then. Mm -hmm. Good night. <laughs> I, think, I think Dennis Miller does a good job. What you set was very hard to follow, yeah. and Dennis has made it his own, and he does a great job at mm -hmm. the, uh, the SNL News thing. Mm -hmm. you know? How did he has a very different uh, approach than I do, yeah. because he's basically a stand-up comic mm -hmm. and a woman. And uh, <laughs> not true, just kidding, Dennis. But my approach uh, to that whole Weekend Update phenomenon was basically to do a newsman, to parody a newsman, and uh, to play the camera like this. Good evening, I'm Chevy Chase, and you, you're nothing. Th this whole <laughs> thing. Yeah. Top story tonight, Frank Sinatra. We're tired of him. Whatever it might have been, I don't know. But, but um, what Dennis does is play the audience out there. And he plays it like a stand-up comedian would. And, uh, and so he acknowledges consistent, continually that he's, he's in charge. These are his jokes. He wrote them. If they, if they get a laugh, he responds to the audience back and forth. So it's not the same style, really. It's a whole other style. And he has made it his own. And it's very good. It's very funny. But it's not the same style. Yeah. How did I don't you... like him. <laughs> How um, did you get the Saturday Night Live gig? Well, I was, uh, I was in a ladies room. I was in a, in fact, it's, it's a well-known story. I was in line to see... Uh, with Tom Brokaw. With Tom Brokaw. <laughs> he was in a, uh, I was in line to see the movie uh, Monty Python's uh, Holy Grail. Mm -hmm. Great movie. And it was a midnight show, and it was out here in Los Angeles. And Lauren Michaels, the producer, was out here looking for uh, writing talent and didn't find any. But uh, he met me in line, and I guess I was cutting up, and I was pretty funny, and he got a hold of my agent and asked that I be sent over. I was writing for the Smothers Brothers at the time, and he, I had a long meeting with him, and that was, that's the way it worked. What's so funny about that? <laughs> the front row hates the Smothers Brothers. Yeah. No, like, that's Tommy Smothers. <laughs> Always laughs. laughs. So uh, he gave you the gig. Yeah. He gave me the gig, and incidentally, he didn't want me to, to perform. Uh, and I wasn't aching to perform. I, I knew I was a good writer, but I didn't know if I could do what he would. But eventually, uh, after doing some commercial parodies, uh, which were pre-taped, meaning before we actually opened the show, uh, he decided that I would be a good not ready primetime player, and he put me on, and it was a very lucky break. Yeah. It was my big lucky break, and I haven't done really anything since then. Uh, in the nicest he's a good idea. Hey.